Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. This time we're doing a top 10 list and this is the top 10 tin games. All right, without further ado, let's crack on and show you one. So this one is a copy, which as you can see, I haven't actually opened yet. And this is called Mint Delivery. I'll be doing a video, including an overview and unboxing, as well as a how to set up, play and review. And as you can see, it's a mint tin game. It's the second one in the mint series. Um, as per the other three uh, as well, and this one, so that's four in total, currently out at time of recording. Justin Blasky is behind it. Okay, up next we have Circus Maximus. Now, um, I'll come back to uh, Mint Delivery um, in a moment, but basically Circus Maximus involves cards, and it's kind of a comical game involving trying to get people as touts to try and get tourists to visit these various sites. For example, the Colosseum, as you can see, emperors and whatnot, the trading to do various things, and you're laying out cards trying to bid to win them and ultimately get their best favour. Okay, up next we have Yogi Guru. It's another tin game and different manufacturer again. Different publisher, Gigamike this time. Um, it has, does, does have different uh, variants. But this one, as you can see, definitely comes in a tin. And uh, what's really good is it actually has these little trays. Now the trays are really good because you actually slide the cards out very easily. Please check out the videos. Again, I've done all these videos so far. And I'll put make sure those will pop up there so you can check them out as they pop up. Okay, up next. Uh, well, actually, of the top 10 games, I'm only showing you nine that uh, I've, I've got with me currently because sometimes, unfortunately, um, one of them is, in fact, borrowed. And that is... Um, so, um, Forbidden uh, Desert. So Forbidden Desert is a fantastic game that is a lot harder than Forbidden Island and better than Forbidden Sky, even though Forbidden Sky actually isn't even in a tin. Um, and the fact is that it just has a bit more thinkiness to it as well. But whilst we're talking about it, let's just talk about Forbidden Island. Okay, so um, I do prefer Forbidden Desert slightly more. It's a bit more crunchier. Uh, it's very flowing. It works very well, and pardon the pun, because it involves water. But um, as you can see, the use of the tin, well, we have various things inside it and everything is nicely tucked away in all different um, areas. You can put these in baggies, I've actually taken them out of the baggies, I don't think it needs them. And it does actually have a sleeve to keep these in place, which again, I don't think it needs. It's nice to have these in a, lo in a location. Of course, it's a plastic insert, so maybe a tin is wide open for it, rather than um, game rights going for something different. This is actually uh, the same um, manufacturer as the um, the West Kingdom games. Okay, so up next we have Dobble. Okay, so um, this is obviously in a tin, and the reason why maybe is because you know these cards are circular, and maybe a tin is quite easy to make. To be honest, it would dent quite easily if it wasn't like this, and because they are circular, and I can see why they're nice and circular, if you happen to have them in a square box, a bit of a, bit of a waste, and of course you get all these kind of markings if it was square. So it's double, very easy to transport around. You can get beach variants, which are plastic as well. All right, next up we have, so we're not having many games left to show you now. Let's go for this one. We have Sushi Go. Now, I could have shown you the Sushi Go Party one instead. Again, that's kind of being borrowed, so I don't have that one presently. But the reason why I actually kind of prefer this one is, as you see, it's a lot smaller. Whilst for less than twice the money, you can have Sushi Go Party, which you'll see the video for that on the channel. I just like the fact that this is everything I need. I don't need all the extra stuff that works with um, Sushi Go Party. And like uh, something a bit like Dobble, it does involve cards. Same with Circus Maximus. In fact, most of these kind of cards to some degree. And again, it fits in very nicely. There's no nice cool um, trays like in um, Yogi Guru. But um, yeah, very nice linen cards and very effective. And actually compared to all the games, which you can get obviously normally in a cardboard box, uh, I think these ones are very effective. And you can see no dings in any of these boxes. Right, up next we have got Yogi, regular Yogi. So this is basically um, a standalone game, but also Yogi Guru, you can actually mix and match with it. But if I were you, start off with Yogi. I think it does everything you need it to do very effectively. Again, here we have all those cards, nice plastic cards as well, very easy to move around. And as you can see, I'm looking through the viewfinder here. But these cards just slide off here. Very nice. Very, very fun game. Uh, I know lots of people I've played this with, they've gone on and got themselves a copy. Okay, up next, and I did talk about this earlier, we have Mint Works. So this one I can open up. And uh, as you can see, Mint Tin, it's a fantastic idea having a Mint Tin. Having something like this um, is an excellent idea. I think it's... It's why we should have tins, to be honest, something like that. Um, it's very effective. Again, you could have it in a small little uh, cardboard box, but realistically, you're talking about either having quite a, a tight, small fit, like in MyStar, 
or you're going small like you would you know, like an Amigo game. And the trouble with games like that is you're then looking into tuck boxes and stuff. All right, so we're talking about our final game in this top 10 list, and that one is Perudo. Now, why Perudo? For a start, this is the only game that has a slight uh, shooting of all things. One thing I would say about Mintworks is as I have played it a few times, uh, the hinge has started to go. I think I've kind of repaired it and you can't really tell, but those are very thin bits of metal. So, Perudo, now as you'll notice, yeah, it's got the rules and they do curve around slightly. You do have these containers in here. Now, obviously the lighting, it makes it a bit too dark to see very clearly. But in this instance, these plastic cups, if you were to stick that in a box, I don't know, you're just ending up with a long tube of a box, which isn't very good. You've got this uh, sack here as well, um, which you don't necessarily need the dice. I always leave the dice actually in here. They never fall out. And yeah, it's nice. It's um, obviously lots of different variants as well of Perudo. You don't have to have it in a tin, but um, I just find that it works very effectively, to be honest. So that has been Perudo and all of these other games. Well, I hope you found that of interest. Again, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Check out the comments. Uh, please let me know, and I look forward to uh, replying. There may be some other games that I have played which are tins, which I forgot to include, or other games which I haven't played, which are fantastic tin games. So like I said, there's, I know I've had Mint Cooperative, Mint Control. Haven't heard, well, haven't had a chance to try them out yet. Haven't uh, had a chance to play them or even seen them, a physical copy. And lastly, uh, please ensure you uh, yeah check out that description, and I look forward to um, getting back to you with more videos ASAP. Also check out the playlists and of course these videos as well. Well, all the best. Thank you very much. Bye for now.